Hey, Shane Nicholson, I hope you're well. Now, I wanna to talk to you about how you can get a house for free or very, very little money down. So this is my latest investment. I bought this with my daughter, Georgia, and that's the point of this channel. So we're building this channel to show you our investment journey. I'm investing my own properties, but more interestingly to you guys, I'm actually building a portfolio for my two daughters. We've got Georgia, who's 21. This is her first property here. And I've got Emily, who's one. And by joining us on the journey, you can find out all the projects we're doing, see behind the scenes, see how it's going. And to do that, you just need to take that finger of power here, spin it round, smash that subscribe button over there. Do it now, give it a subscribe, and then you will find out all how this stuff is working. So, this is our property up in Doncaster. So today I wanna to talk to you about how to get a property for free or very little money down. So we bought this property at auction. And if you wanna see a full tour, um, you can check out, there's a video on the channel which I've launched a couple of days ago now. And so I'm walking over tools and all sorts of stuff here. Um, so yeah, you can check out the video on the channel that I put of the investment update, which I think is quite interesting and see how this all works. So we purchased this property at auction for £60,000, um, which was a pretty good deal. Very happy with that. So yeah, we bought it at auction. I think it was the end of March now. It took about a month or so to complete. So we got the keys early May. And then we had a six week timeline to renovate this property and a £15,000 budget. Now, this property came in slightly under on the renovation cost. So we renovated the property for 12,000. We had a 15,000 budget, but 3,000 of that was for uh, rewiring and stuff like that, which we didn't have to do, which was great news when we got that. Uh, so we didn't need to do a full rewire. Um, that was really, really positive. So we ended up spending £72,000 on the property. Now, we've just had it revalued. So we bought it with cash. So we did need some money to put in, but you don't need to do that. So keep watching and I'll tell you how. So we bought it with cash and then we refurbed it. And then we've got it revalued with the mortgage broker the other day because uh, now we're putting it on a buy to let mortgage to get our money back. So we've had the property valued at £100,000, which is incredible. Uh, and we've done that in seven to eight weeks. Now that valuation has come through. The bank on a buy to let mortgage will lend you 75% of the value of the house. So that means that if they value it at 100, they will lend you 75,000 pounds, which is crazy, right? So that means that we will get all of our money back. So we put 72 in, and now we're gonna get 75 back as a loan. So we'll pay that off. It's gonna be, um, what, like 100, I think it's 190 a month, maybe, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it's not much. And then the rental on this property is 575. So you're not gonna make, millions from a property like this but if you got the house for free how many times would you do this and you just keep building these and this pro property will make around 300 pounds a month profit after estate agent fees and stuff like that so for leaving no money in a deal and you can make 300 pounds profit in a month and the value of the house is going to go up over the next 10 20 30 40 years that we own it then how many of those would you need to replace your salary now not loads, like you might be able to do this um, four or five times and cover your salary or at least make yourself more comfortable. Now, how could you do this for free? Because I bought this cash, you might not have 60,000 pounds cash to be able to do this. So when you go to an auction, you have to be able to complete on that property in 28 days. You need to check the legal pack as well, that's important. 99% of properties is 28 days. However, I looked at another one on this same auction and for some reason they had a clause that you had to complete in 14 days. So I didn't bid on that because I thought that was a bit of a tight deadline to get the legal stuff sorted out. So you've got to complete within 28 days. Now that rules out mortgages because a mortgage can take two months, three months to get through and that's quite stressful, right? So no mortgage, you need cash, 
or you can use something called a bridging loan. And so a bridging loan is a very fast loan. It's fairly expensive. The interest might be uh, 0.75% to 1% a month, but you get your bridging loan just to get the transaction done fast. You do your refurbishment and then you put it on a mortgage. So you might only pay three grand for that loan or four grand for that loan. Um, but it's worth it because it gives you capital that you didn't necessarily have. Uh, and so that's an option to do that. Or you could do this with JV partners, right? When you start talking about property investing, people will come out the woodwork that you assume didn't have any money. Now, now I'm more visual talking about this stuff. I've been an investor for 20 years, but now I've made this YouTube channel. I've got close friends that are business owners that I didn't think had loads of money. And one of them said, look, I've got 100 grand. I want to start investing. Um, whereas if I said to them, hey, do you want to buy this crypto coin or do this? They'd just tell me they have no money. But when you talk about property, because people think property is significantly safer, people will lend you money. And so that's another way to do this is to JV with people. There's tons of people that don't have time, but they have money. They want to get invested. They want to do these kind of strategies. And you could be the person that finds the deals, buys the deals, manages the builders. And that can be another way that you can do this. This strategy that I've talked about here is called the buy, refurbish, refinance, rent strategy. And that is where you buy a property, you refurbish it like we've done here, you refinance it by putting it onto a mortgage and then you rent it out and then you repeat it and do it again and again and again. And so when you build this method, the risk on what happens in the market. So we've done a lot of videos recently. Is the market going up? Is the market going down? I don't know, you don't know. Nobody can be certain on that, but I'm not too concerned about that if I've got no money in the property because I've put 60 grand in, I've put 12 grand in to do it up, but now I put it on a mortgage, I've got all of that money back. So I haven't even had to leave a deposit into this property. So that means that if the market goes up, down, sideways, or whatever happens, I'm safe. My personal assets are not in this property. And that's very, very important. And so when you can do that, you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. And this property will go up in value. Doncaster that we're in now is just being made a city. Also, Doncaster had what some of the fastest growth in 2020 and 2021. It was like 16%. It went up in one year. A lot of people say house prices don't go up in the north. That's just not true. Some areas it is, but Doncaster is a city now, so that that is a, a not true in this area. So the house prices are significantly rising in this area, and that's really powerful because then in five years or 10 years, the house might be worth, say, 150, and then I can pull some more equity out, right? And then I can buy other assets in this area and that's how you can multiply and so what i would really recommend is that you check out all the other videos on this channel about how to release equity from properties how to use this buy refurbish refinance strategy because that is really really powerful when you do that and that's how you grow a portfolio fast and when i started investing my first three investments my a flat in Dorking and then two properties in Hastings. I didn't know any of this stuff. And so my assumption was that investors bought a house and then they either waited for it to go up in value over a long period of time and then pulled more money out or they um, just saved more deposits, right? I've just assumed that people save more deposits and that's how they got more properties at a later date. And that's just not true. You can do this way faster and you can shrink that time to be able to pull your money out by buying something that needs a refurbishment. It needs some love. It needs some attention. There's tons of those properties that are distressed. Uh, you can find them on Rightmove with estate agents. You can find them at auctions. You can find them on Gumtree. There's hundreds of places that you can find these things. You can find people that just need a house sold really, really fast. And so that's what I really want to keep you guys informed on uh, and keep you aware of this and inspire some of you. We've already had some people watching these videos and who are in our Facebook group that are buying properties. One guy just bought a property at auction the other day. And so hopefully this will educate and help some of you guys. 
So that's it. That's how you get houses for free. You need a little bit of money up front, but it doesn't have to be yours. So do join us on this journey. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button quickly, guys, because uh, that helps me with YouTube. Ask any questions in the comments. Join the Facebook group in the description. Check out all the other videos on the channel, including this one right here. See you soon. Bye for now.